Hello everyone, thanks uh, that we could be here. Um, it's great to see so many great and motivated people to spend the next three days with, so thanks for that. If you look at this, these are the goals of the UN for the sustainable development. And if you look at all these different domains and why people behave unsustainably, um, we think there is one cause that is maybe not the root cause, but that ties all these together. What is this cause? So. <laughs> well, not a bad, not a bad guess. The thing is, we do stuff, there is action. And what we do has effects. That's okay as long as the effects are intended. But it's a problem for all the unintended effects. And there are lots of unintended effects. Why? Because they're not part of the original trans uh, transaction. So we cannot really directly avoid them today, but maybe we could incentivize people to do more of the positive unintended side effects and maybe less of the negative ones. Here are a few examples. I'm sorry it's so small. I was expecting a 10 by 10 screen. <laughs> sorry for that. But uh, we can talk about this all in detail later. So you will recognize them. CO2 capture, recycling, biodiversity, cleanliness, health, education, all these things are positive and they are not part of financial transactions today. And the negative ones, uh, um, pollution, disease, waste, noise, etc., also not. So what could we do to incentivize people to do good stuff and avoid doing the bad stuff? Well, people invented money. And they just reinvented it recently, which is interesting because now we can do our own money for all kinds of purposes. And we think we actually need more than one type of currency. Um, because to, to, to control a complex system, you cannot have one control variable uh, do the whole thing. You need different ones. Therefore, we, we're talking about a multidimensional currency system that we uh, try to design. Um, so for the challenge, welcome to the Finance 4.0 system. It's not your terminology, it's terminology of the other event, so they understand as well, but never mind, it will be very concrete. Somebody starts doing something good, and we want to support that. And think of something good people do today that is just not compensated for. They cannot get any sort of coins, in quotes, today. So something good is done. The next step will be, we have to prove that. The proof, we need a proof of good work, if you will. Um, that, that we can say, yeah, this really happened. Then we tokenize it, mine it, whatever the, the process will be, depends on, on the concrete dimension and, and on the concrete case. But there will be cryptocurrency created out of that positive stuff that is happening. And what we are doing with these tokens are coins. We make them tradable on decentralized marketplaces. Why? To create a new incentive system to, to, to foster positive behavior. It's very simple. Let me give just three easy examples. You plant 25 trees, you prove it, you get 25 units of a CO2 coin, let's say. You take three people uh, carpooling with you, uh, you prove it, you get three units of a mobility coin, for example. You recycle your whole car, you prove it, and you get a variety of resource coins of all types, probably. So the flow of this simple process um, has endless possibilities for you here at, at the hackathon, but in general for us to solve. Um, I'm just very quickly giving one statement per each box that you get an idea of what I'm talking about. So the doing good has to be measured. IoT sensors, mobile devices, do-it-yourself, open hardware gadgets, etc. It, we have to have proofs of these things. Um, this afternoon, there was talking about a web of trust. We talk about decentralized oracles. Doesn't matter what you, what, how you call it. But we need to prove stuff that we cannot prove technically. Stuff we can prove technically. There are ideas like uh, CK snarks and, and, and other cryptographic magic that, that would allow that. But some things people have to say it's true or it's not true. Um, we need to uh, design these tokens. We need to think about how they are issued. How is the mechanism? How are the crypto economics of the thing? Um, in the marketplace, we have to figure out how are prices defined. 
so a price finding mechanism is needed. And we also think that sometimes communities probably have a preference for some of these things, for some coins, for, for the, the some, some things they want to value higher than others. And we should enable that, that communities can decide by themselves what's important for them. It's a bottom-up system. What do people do on these marketplaces? Maybe they compensate their, their own bad behavior uh, by buying your positive coins, whatever they are. Um, maybe there's data trading, because all this data collected on the right side could be quite interesting. There's an interesting question about anonymous data versus uh, uh, um, um, provenance data, basically. And of course, also simple token exchange, coins exchange, like, like we have today, can happen as well. And, and that's not here, imagine how would that chart look like if we did not start with a do-good box, but with a do-evil box. It's also linking in all the different topics of the hackathon. Um, so on the right side, you have identity and tracking of emissions. We also think about tracking and, and identity of other things than emissions. Pricing of carbon, it's not only carbon, but you have to price all kinds of things. Um, distributed energy, okay, 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 okay. If you're interested in land use or transport, we can figure that out as well. That's a future ICT2 project of ETH. Thanks very much. You did a very good job with the clicker. Thank you. Anybody has a question? Yes. We have a question here. Whoa. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Uh, just question. I still don't understand where is the value of the the cryptocurrency. Like, why would people pay for a good coin, or how do you incentivize? So let me turn this around. The problem today is that. People doing bad things uh, are not compensated for. Nobody pays. So if the company who pr produces your mobile phone pollutes the river, in most cases, they are not directly liable to, 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 to clean the river again. And we want to, to, to create market-based mechanisms that allow in new incentive systems to, 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 to be created, to come up, that, that would create a market so that the cleaning of the river is worth for people for whom it's not worth today. I think, sorry, uh, I think the question, I would, can I just add to this? The question always comes, right? What is the value of the cryptocurrencies whenever you talk about new cryptocurrencies? So at the moment, people don't ask themselves the question, what gives our current currencies value? What gives them value is trust that you can do something with it. The trust that you can go in a shop tomorrow or in 10 years or whatever. And this trust is ensured by all the governments or central banks which are behind this. So the question here is like, if you look at currencies, what unites them all is that they have users and they have a user base. Um, so currencies will get value, they will appreciate in value the more users they have. So if good currencies can have users, then they will have value. Thank you. Let's go to the next question. Yeah. Let's go to the next question. There? Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Avoiding the sound. Um, as the, the currency represents a value which has been created to, uh, for the society, we can ask SPB if they are willing to accept like this 10% discount and the rest we, they get the social token showing their investment in the society. Uh, I even would go further and ask the question, do we need a few decades from now the current currency? Or do we have just a system of, of a few dozen of currencies? And then you need technical support to have your huge <laughs> coin wallet uh, and don't get lost in the mess. Uh, there was somebody else, no? no? Yes. Let's have a last question. Um, well, I will come here just, just for, oops. Yeah. Uh, because interesting idea, and actually uh, I have already done a lot of this. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, no. So there is an application which actually does what has been said. So it tracks and rewards uh, climate-friendly behavior of individuals within the, uh, for the moment, three activities done. Okay, and then, so I think we should discuss that before, but uh, afterwards, uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to cooperate with you.
Okay, hockey's over, it's done. <laughs>